Yeah, and, and, and you know, I think you look at this Heat team this year, do I mean it's it's incredible. It's a testament to the scouting department, quite frankly. And and I mean, you think about the big three era, and then that you know gets broken up, and then they start over. And just how you guys were able to build this team through the drafts. I mean, take us through that, and you know, what role did you play in, in scouting these guys, and, and what did you see in some of these guys? That maybe other other organizations didn't. Well, we, you know, it's it's not an exact science scouting. <laughs> uh, I, we 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 end up being lucky getting Bam and getting Tyler Hero. I mean, those guys end up being better than we thought they were going to be. Yeah. And of course, Duncan Robinson. He wasn't even drafted. Period. I mean, he was he was at a Division three or Division two school. Uh, ended up going to Michigan. Wasn't drafted at all, uh, went to the G League, and lo and behold, he's one of the best three-point shooters in the NBA. I mean, it's guys just jive. I mean, we, we got a, a culture. Uh, we have developed so many guys in our system, you know, guys that have gone to other teams, got good contracts, had good career. Uh, give you an example. Whiteside. Uh, Bruce Bowen. Bruce Bowen. You know, Bruce Bowen was always a defensive specialist with us. You know, he played well. I, I, I don't even remember what happened, but he ended up going to San Antonio and being an intricate part of their championship teams. He developed. Bruce couldn't hit the side of a barn. He kept <laughs> shooting and shooting, shooting till he, he got to the point where he could make he could make threes. If he had 10 threes, he was going to make six or seven of them from the corners. That's yep. that's how he developed. That's, that's what we've done in Miami. We developed guys, uh, Ike Austin, for instance. Ike was 300 and some pounds. I mean, he lost 60 pounds. He ended up going to Washington, getting a $30 million contract. Ike Austin wasn't on anybody's radar, but we worked with him, developed him. This, this is what the Miami Heat does with players. Bam, bam. If you remember him from Kentucky, with that talented team they had, he never touched the ball. The only time he touched it was when they threw lobs to him. You look at him now, he's handling the ball down court. Uh, he's initiating the offense. I mean, he's turned – I mean, he's an all-star. You know what I'm saying? And I saw a thing in the paper the other day that said, if they did the draft now, there's no way – Bam would have been, what, the 14th pick. Right. Tyler Hero wouldn't have been the 13th pick. Those guys would have been top three picks if you look at it today. You look at all the people that looked over those guys. 